Hello you beautiful, beautiful people, welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, welcome back to the channel. I hope you are well and welcome to Awesome, the Series 28. Today we're completing this week's Forza on Challenges, Executive Saloons, taking a look at the Forza on Shop and Horizon Backstage. So if you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We are so close now to 10,000 subscribers and let's go complete this week's Forza on Challenges. Now, before we jump into this week's four sun challenges, first things first, do you own Lake Lodge? If not, why not? It will double all of four sun points for all of four sun activities, weekly four sun challenges, daily four sun challenges, and four sun lives every hour on the hour. Buyer beware though, it does cost 5 million credits or it is free with the VIP pass, but it does come with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. Got a choice of two cars for this week's Force on Challenge. You see 2006 Audi RS4, mine is running 1,000 horsepower, four wheel drive, and can be picked up in the auto show for 53,000 credits. The other car is a 2005 BMW M3, running 520 horsepower, rear wheel drive, and can be picked up in the auto show for 33,000 credits. If you'd like to download and use the tunes for either of these cars, just search for Gamer Tag Skippy of 461 on the file name Skippy YouTube. Share codes for both tunes are in description and in the comments below. Now we will be taking a look at the Forza Shop and the Horizon Backstage at the end of the video because this week we can finally get our hands on a Horizon Backstage pass. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and crack on with this week's Forza on Challenges Executive Saloons. Chapter 1, Battle of the Brands. Own and drive the 2005 BMW M3 or the 2006 Audi RS4. Top contenders in the German executive car market. Own and drive then, nice and simple, it's the same every week, hop outside your festival, house or castle, drive two seconds down the road, battle the brands, completed. So chapter one, battle the brands completed, owning and driving either the 2005 M3 or the 2006 RS4, it's on to chapter two, a step ahead. Pick your favourite and prove it's the fastest by earning 12 stars from speed traps in either the BMW M3 05 or the Audi RS4 06. Head on over to your map and filter by speed traps. This makes them a lot easier to see and find. I'm heading here over to Edinburgh for the Carlton Hill speed trap with just 105 two star target. Now it doesn't matter how you earn the 12 stars. You can do 12 runs of one star, six runs of two star, or just four runs of a three star objective. It isn't entirely up to you. You can do numerous speed traps. You don't have to do the same one over and over. I'm just gonna pass back and forth through the Carlton Hill speed trap till I earn 12 stars. Here we go then in the Audi RS4. Nice and easy. I've picked the Audi for this chapter because it is the faster one of the two at 1,000 horsepower. But through the camera, 136.93, that is two stars. Coming back up to the camera for our second run. Through the camera at our 144.59, another two stars, four runs to go. Here we go then coming up on our sixth and final run for our last two stars. For this chapter through the camera at 147.12 that's two star objective there we go a step ahead completed so chapter two a step ahead completed earning 12 stars in total from speed zones it's on to chapter three track day take your car to the races and win three road series events in either the bmw m305 or the audi rs406 once again, heading on over to your map, but this time filtering by the Road Racing Series, just making them a little bit easier to see and find. You can do any race you like from the Road Racing Series. It is entirely up to you, but I'm going to be using the Lakehurst Forest Sprint. Well, once again, I have a blueprint created for you guys to make things nice and easy, nice and quick. It is called Easy Force On. It's just 0.3 miles in length. Let's just hope this week the share code works. You can only use the M3 and the RS4. The share code should be on screen now. 379-045-160. As always, driver type difficulty does not affect weekly Forzathon races. There's no reason to make it any harder than it needs to be. Put it on new racer. Here we go then in the Audi RS4. This race is super easy. Driver tires take a right. We head straight on. And there's the finish line. Cross the line. First place. Here we go. Race number two. Exactly the same in the Audi RS4. Driver tires take a right. We head straight on to the finish line. Cross the line. First place. Third and final race. I thought I'd switch into the BMW as we are going to need it for the fourth and final chapter. But exactly the same as the Audi. Cross the line, 
first place. So with our third chapter, Trap Day completed, winning three road series events. It's on to our fourth and final chapter, Impressive Performance. Demonstrate your car's handling by earning drift and pass skills to get three Shah skill combos in either the BMW M305 or the Audi RS406. Once again, we're back in the map and I'm keeping it in the road racing series. For this chapter, I'm heading on over to the Horizon Festival circuit. Well, once again, we have another blueprint created called Easy Show Off Skills. Again, Self Game Tag Skippy 4631. It is 10 laps long. You don't have to do them all. It's just giving you the most amount of time to get the Show Off Skills completed. Share code is 495-568-157. Now, for this chapter, I'm going to be using the 2005 BMW M3 as it is rear wheel drive and easier to drift. Again, this challenge is not affected by driver type difficulty, so I'm keeping it on the new racer to make it as easy as possible. Right then, here we go. I'm going to be using the first corner for this challenge to get show skills. We need to drift whilst overtaking. So get on the right hand side, get the car sideways. Hopefully, there's one show off skill. That is one down, two to go. So I'm going to do it again here, nip up the inside, get a drift on, a pass another show skill completed here we go then once again to get our third and final show skill we're going to wait for the first corner dip down the inside get it sideways there we go executive saloons completed grabbing our last show off skill like i say you don't have to complete all 10 laps it's just 10 laps to give you the most amount of time to get the show off skills completed you can just quit halfway through so the fourth and final chapter, Impressive Performance Completed. That finishes off this week's Force on Challenges, Completing Executive Saloons. Let's go ahead and take a look at this week's Force on Shop and then Horizon Backstage. Again, I've got mixed feelings about this week's Force on Shop. First car for grabs is the 2019 Aston Martin DBS Superleggera, 600 Force on Points. Second car for grabs, the 1984 Peugeot 205 Turbo 16 Forza Edition, 350 Awesome points. I've got to say, a fantastic clothing this week. We've got the pumpkin hat, which glows in the dark, and the skeleton morph suit, which also glows in the dark. I don't care how much these cost, you need to be picking them up. So why do I have mixed feelings about this week's shop? The Aston Martin DBS Superleggera, a fantastic car. I don't care how much this thing is in the auction house, it's well worth the 600 of four some points. As for the 1984 Peugeot, I could take it or leave it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is an extremely common car and doesn't really have any place in the Forzathon shop. But not to forget, if you have any spare Forzathon points knocking around and you're feeling lucky, grab yourself a normal wheel spin for 40 Forzathon points. Or nab yourself a super duper wheel spin for 150 Forzathon points. Just while we make our way over to the Horizon backstage, here is the reason why you need the pumpkin hat and the alien morph suit. They both glow in the dark and look absolutely epic but let's go take a look at the horizon backstage horizon 4's newest feature it can be accessed through the free roam map or you can hop into the pause menu slide on over to the cars tab and you can access it there so if you're not up to speed with horizon backstage the cars currently available are the lotus elise 190 the hoonigan jim carter 10 ford mustang the ferrari of xx evo the hot wheels of ford mustang the porsche 917 Dash six, the TVR Tuscan S, the Honda Civic Type R 2018, the Nissan Fairlady Z or the 300 ZX, and recently added in through last week's vote, the 1965 Pontiac GTO. So here is this week's vote. We've got the Hudson Hornet against the Plymouth Fury. Let me know down in the comments which one gets your vote. I'm going to save my vote for now. I'm not too sure what to do. I'm going to see what you guys say in the comment. I'm more leaning towards the Hudson Hornet. I prefer that car over the Plymouth Fury. I think they're both just as rare as each other. We've seen them, I think, once or twice each in the festival playlist. There we go, guys. That's this week's Force on Challenges, this week's Force on Shop, and Horizon Backstage. We've grabbed 200 Force on Points and 15% towards our autumn season. If you have any questions about this week's Force on Challenges or Horizon Backstage, hit me up in the comments. I'll do my best to help you out. If you are new around here, definitely consider subscribing. We'll do this every single week we'll also be playing through the rest of the festival players in the next couple of days unlocking all the rewards along the way but as always thank you so much for watching stay safe guys and have an awesome day